I'm going to make the gelée layer for our mascarpone and honey verine. The gelée serves to keep the mousse from drying out or oxidizing. It gives nice shine and it reflects the flavor that we have inside of the verine itself. So I have honey in this pot here and I'm gonna caramelize that honey. It will take on a beautiful, robust aroma and uh, an even darker amber color as it begins to caramelize. I don't need to add any water to this while it's cooking. Once it starts to loosen up, I will sit with it. My honey is vigorously boiling. You can see that it's darkened in color and taken on this beautiful uh, caramel color. I'm gonna deglaze with some room temperature or slightly warm water. I'm gonna whisk that water in completely, make sure that I don't have any crystallized areas in the corner. And then I'll take my bloomed gelatin, squeeze out any excess water that I may have in there. I'll drop that in. And I'm going to allow my gelée to cool until it's about 70 degrees, at which time I can put it on top of my verine. My mousse is well set and my gelée is at the ideal temperature and texture for applying it to the top of the verine. So as you see, it's a nappe quality. I'm gonna pour it into a sauce gun. If you don't have one of these, you certainly could do this using a squirt bottle. And I'm gonna apply a nice thin even layer. It's tempting to go thick with this because it's so flavorful and unusual. However, it will be uh, rubbery if I have too thick a coating on here. The, the function of the gelée, again, is to protect the mousse from oxidizing or forming a skin and to reflect the flavors I have on the interior. As soon as I have applied my gelée layer, I'm going to refrigerate this for another four hours to allow it to set completely. Our gelée is chilled and well set. Now it's time to put the crowning jewel on the verine, which is the sautéed pineapple, sautéed in honey with a little bit of lime juice and vanilla. It's important that your pineapple is cool so that you aren't going to melt the gelatin that you have in your gelée. It's also important that you remember you need to have a spoon that's small enough to fit in your vessel and that can fit down to the bottom of your vessel before you ever start assembling. So I'm taking some of my diced pineapple and carefully placing it in the center here. If you're so inclined, you can even put some pineapple in between the layers of your mousse to add additional layers in there. However, you do need to be mindful that pineapple contains bromelian, which uh, will inhibit gelatinization of your gelatin. So it needs to be cooked above 170 degrees. I can put a little piece of a streusel cookie on the top and it gives me another crunch factor again. I hope you enjoyed the verine. It's a specialty dessert, which is a great way to expand your product offerings. Uh, it works well on a sweet table or in a cold case, and it could be used as a plated dessert as well.